G'day everybody, where's Wally here? This is another excerpt from Geronism's show on Sunday. He outlines the case for the 24-hour sun so very well. And he is so sure that the sun doesn't set and there is no 24-hour sun. And then he rips into Adam, Level Earth Observer, and every flatty that is claiming that the 24-hour sun does not matter. We all know it does, and they all know it matters, and they also know that it does circle around. Now, if you want to hear Jaron ripping into Eric DeBay, pop over to Jaron's channel and listen to the rest of this video there. The link is in the description as always. This video is 35 minutes long already, but I was transfixed, so I thought I would share it with you guys too. Enjoy it. We live in interesting times, don't we? I said, people are still writing me messages about Leslie's model and how he will soon be able to explain it. So... Part of the Leslie's model that is a problem, if you guys didn't watch the end of the second part of Leslie's presentation, is I debunked it easily. I kept letting him try and get it out, and then I just said to him, okay, Leslie, now if the sun goes around somebody in the south, how does it set for somebody in Africa? And he just stood there and looked at his, his whiteboard and was like, oh, uh, I'll work it out. I'll figure it out. Well, there is no figuring it out. That's what I don't understand why people don't get yet. I really thought that there was like some thinkers in this group, people that could actually put things together. I'm, I've been shocked that I'm the only one standing up and saying this. I said, I feel very alone since I'm the only one that sees that a 24 hour sun would expose a fatal flaw in all flat earth models. I don't want to start calling people dumb, but it looks like there will be no choice. Anyone saying that a 24 hour sun in the South doesn't matter is lying to you blatantly and they will continue to do so as long as you allow it but you can be smarter than them by calling them out for it the moral of the story is that the flat earth doesn't work with a circling antarctic sun the sun cannot circle somebody in the south because it needs to get to the other side of the world here's the best way to grasp why a 24-hour sun does matter and it's liars like level earth observer leo big fat freaking liar well i'm a demonstrable realist oh it doesn't matter if the sun goes, oh, what a loser, liar. Nathan Oakley, liar. Eric Dubay, big time liar. And anyone else saying it doesn't matter are simply either dumb or lying to you. Let me explain why. Can we say the following things are facts? Hang with me here. Join me. In, I'm going to name three things. Can we say these are facts? Number one, the sun travels around the earth in 24 hours. Is anybody going to disagree with that? Is anybody going to disagree with the fact that the sun travels around the earth in 24 hours. Fact number two, the sun must bring light and heat to each area of the earth in 24 hours. Correct. It has to be noon at some point during the day in Australia and noon in Africa and noon in, in the South America and noon in Hawaii. Okay, great. Number three, the flat earth pushes the south to the perimeter. In every model that I've ever seen, the flat earth pushes Antarctica to the outside, to the perimeter. Okay, with just those three facts, we just proved how important and how much this matters. With just those three pieces of demonstrable reality, we can reach a few conclusions. Number one, a sun cannot be circling a person in the south because simultaneously it needs to be traveling across Australia and Africa while it's behind a person on the outskirts. How is that possible? Two, if, a, if it does circle your head, then no flat map can explain it. Did you hear me? I'll say it again. If it does circle the head of somebody in Antarctica, then no flat map can explain it. Again, because we can go back up to the three things that we said are facts. The sun travels in 24 hours. The sun brings light and heat to each area of the earth in 24 hours. And the earth pushes, the flat earth pushes the perimeter or the south to the perimeter. If those things are true, how come you can't be smart enough to recognize what I can? Which is, oh, if we're pushing the south to the outside perimeter, then at no time does the sun have time to go around somebody's head. It has to get to the other side of the world. I said, with just those three pieces of demonstrable reality, we can reach a few conclusions. And I'll tell you why in one second that I even think it's more ridiculous. The sun can be circ cannot be circled. Oh, I said that. If it does circle your head, then no flat map can explain it. This is truth. And if you think I'm lying or not being truthful, then you still haven't thought about it at all. Scammers, liars, and grifters will lie to you because that's what scammers do. Luckily, there is no 24-hour sun in the, in the South. Now, you'll have to hear what I'm saying because people keep forgetting. 
I don't believe in the 24 hour sun in the South, but I'm, I can recognize and I can say that if it is there, then our model's wrong. Why can't you guys say that? Why are you such pussies? First of all, I keep hearing people say, oh, you can't judge the shape of the earth by the lights in the sky. Okay, if that's true, then I want nobody else to say anything about the seasons on the flat earth. Don't tell me a shit about things in the sky then. Don't tell me. Why don't we answer that when people ask about the stars going in the opposite direction? What difference does it make if they go clockwise or counterclockwise? We can't take a look at this stuff in the sky and make a determination about the ground. I don't want to hear Dave Weiss talk about the sunset and the sunrise and how those work and how we're looking. What are you talking about? Why are you talking about something in the sky? We can't make a determination about the ground with something in the sky. Think about what you're saying. You sound ridiculous. You sound ridiculous. Just my two cents. Of course, you can let people lie to you if you want. Enjoy that truth. Want to find out who has an ego so big they will protect it with lies before they admit the truth that proves them wrong? Simply ask one question. Does a 24-hour sun in the South matter? Ask any of these people you watch. Say, hey, does a 24-hour sun in the South matter? If they say no, then they are lying to you. They are extremely dumb. Or they're just lying. They're just grifting. They're just uh, scamming. If they say yes, then they're honest. That's the truth. Because, and you might have put here, if they say yes, they're honest. If they say no, well, you might want to start believing in dark matter and dark energy. Because that's what Globers had to invoke to save their model. Something never seen. So I said, so dark sun spontaneous duplication is might work. If you feel comfortable with that, that's fine. If the sun does go behind somebody's head, then just say, oh, it's dark sun is spontaneous duplication. Okay. But in all honesty, you're being lied to. If someone is telling you that it doesn't matter, it matters. You just need to be smart enough to hold liars responsible for their blatant lies. I have not seen anybody call out anybody for that lie yet. In fact, I'm the only person I've seen who said it. Well, that's not true. I've seen uh, Space Audit said it. I think uh, Austin Witz, I mean, Austin uh, Thompson said it. But I don't think there's anybody else. I still think there's people out there who all say it doesn't matter. You can't look at lights in the sky and determine. Then I don't want to hear anything else about stars. I don't want to hear anything else about the sun. It doesn't matter what the sun does then. Don't talk about the sun setting or rising. It doesn't make a difference. You can't determine the ground with the lights in the sky. Now, if you're smart enough, you'll recognize that every time we've ever said that, it's because people would say, hey, the sun is a sphere, the moon is a sphere, the stars are spheres, therefore we're a sphere. Then we would say, time out. You can't determine the ground that we're on by saying that we're one of the things in the sky. That is fine. The, because that's not a good, you can't say, oh, those things in the sky are circles, so therefore we're a circle. That's stupid. That's not what this is saying. What this is saying is there is a literal impossibility in our model and we don't even, we don't have the heart to admit it. I can't believe I'm the only one that's going to be truthful in a world that we're supposed to be in a truthers. I don't get it. Thank you. Uh, free thinking said, and I also agree. That's why I'm willing to go down there is I think these guys are so sure of themselves that they think there's going to be a 24 hour sun down there. Now, I also recognize it'd be very weird if they let me go down there and, and prove that, but I want to make them do that because I could just say, ah, oh, they're just going to fake it. So I don't want to go. Okay. But then they don't have to fake it. By me saying I'm going, they're going to either have to fake it, cancel the trip, or do something like that. But yet I've been attacked by everybody because I'm telling you the truth. That's it's the embarrassing. It's embarrassing. You think I want to be part of a community that calls themselves truthers? Here's me saying the truth, and I'm getting attacked for it because I don't feed your your belief system. And I'm not even saying that that will happen. I'm just putting it forward. Hey, if the sun did go around my head considering it's impossible on our model, then I would come back and say, our model's wrong. Guys, our model's way wrong. Something else I've heard people say. One person said, well, if Jaron gets back and says he did see the sun, I don't think I'm going to believe him. This, I'm like, dude, it's, if, Austin, if, if we get back and we say, oh, we saw the sun behind our heads and that's it, don't believe us. What are you talking about? We're going down there to get you guys the footage. We're going to have all these, think of all the footage that's coming back. You're going to get to go through it all, all the raw files, everything. And people are acting like we can somehow do something. What are you talking about? We're not going to come back and just say something. We're going down there for four days to film the thing the whole time. 
you'll have so much footage to, to sift through. You won't just have to listen to me. And if you think I'm going to go fake a son on video somehow for 72 hours or however long we're going to be down there, you're just lost. You're just lost. And a see, literalist, you said, how do you know that you'll really be at the farthest south? It doesn't matter. How do you not understand that? Let me draw it again because I can't ever get it across to people. And it's just shocking to me. Like, I thought you guys had thought about this. Don't, don't, you were flat earthers and you never thought about any of this? I need to spell it out for you? It's just baffling. Let me bring it up. I don't know how this is so difficult. I didn't think it was this, this difficult. But I'll show you. Let me just get this thing up. I've got to share my screen here with the pad. Just please, for a second, can you guys stop doing whatever you're doing? And just pay attention to me for five minutes, please. Just five minutes. Pay attention closely. So that it's not a matter of, oh, that's not the one I wanted to use. Oh, I have the wrong thing plugged in. I have my phone plugged in and not my iPad. Go this one. Okay. Just five minutes. That's all I'm asking. Five minutes. After that, you can go do whatever you're doing. Just five minutes. Pay attention one second. Just so that we can all see this together and hopefully make sense. And it shouldn't be a question. There's no, there shouldn't be any questions here. All right. And we got to add uh, this and we're going to go iPad. It says OPAD, but I'll take it. Add game capture, yes, and that one, and uh, capture specific window, window live stream, yes, that's one. Go, okay. That's not quite. Why is that not long, large screen? Weird. All right, we're gonna bring this over here. Can you see that? Yeah, should be able to see it. All right, just pay attention. Five minutes, all I ask, so that you can see that there is no trickery going on. They cannot take us somewhere else. All right, so we're gonna look at this and we're gonna say, here is. North America, sorry for my bad drawing, here's South America, Africa, Europe, India, and Australia, New Zealand. Okay, is that good enough? It's kind of a decent map, kind of makes sense, right? Let me actually move it down if I can, just to get it more in the center. Okay, now we're flying down to Punta Arenas. I think I can use this, can I? I don't like that one. Maybe this one. There we go. Okay, so we're flying from the United. I would fly from here, from San Francisco, down to Punta Arenas, which is down there. So now we're here. We will know we're in Punta Arenas. We can go to the post office. We can look at the, you know, the stationery on our hotel. We're at Punta Arenas. From here, Punta Arenas, we have a four and a half hour flight. Okay. So where can we go? It doesn't matter if we're the farthest south. It doesn't matter. Like we could pretty much go here, 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 right? That's the only places we can go in four and a half hours. And it doesn't do any good to get to the North Pole. If you got to the North Pole, the sun would be going the opposite way. Plus it's there. It's the North Pole's winter. So it's going to be dark every day. So that's impossible. Okay, so let's go back. So how do we know we'd be further south? We don't know where we'll be. We'll be somewhere here. Could be here, could be here, but we're going to be somewhere where there's ice all around us. Could it be an island out here with ice all around it? Sure, absolutely. But also, we're going to have a compass in the plane. I'm pretty sure if we saw it going dead east, that'd be a problem. Should say south. Okay, let's go back. Now that we're here, we've got our four and a half hour flight. Let's just say for the sake of the argument that we end up here. And this is called Union Glacier. Okay, that's where we'll be for three days, supposedly. Now, we know what the sun does. This is what I don't think people are gra grasping. I don't know why I have to keep going over this. What does the sun do? The sun, get off here, go. The sun, we know, goes around the earth in 24 hours. There's nobody who has a question about that. No one's ever questioned that. It doesn't go in 36 hours. It doesn't go in 12 it has to go in 24 hours. It has to get back to where it was in 24 hours. It has to bring light to everywhere that the sun lights in 24 hours. Meaning, we know, does Australia get day? Yes. Does India get day? Yes. Does Africa get day? Yes. Does South America get the day? Yes. Does New Zealand? Yes. Does Hawaii? Yes. Does North America? Yes. So if we know for a fact that those places get the sun every day, and we know that the sun goes around in 24 hours. We've got our facts done. Okay, great. Now what? 
Well, what does the globe say happens? The globe says that a person here in Union Glacier, let me move this up now, because I can't really see well. Down here, get down there. I'm gonna move this up here. What does the what does the globe say happens? They say as the sun comes around here, it goes like this. One day, two days, three days, four days, five days. That's what the globe says. And if it does that, how are you guys saying it doesn't matter? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Jaron. You can't look at the sun and say that it matters about the shape of the earth. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. How could the sun be back here at midnight when it has to be over here? It has to be lighting this area. It has to be lighting this area minutes after. It has to be lighting this area minutes before. So do you understand this? I don't understand why there's questions about this. And it doesn't matter where else you go. This is the great thing about this idea. Oops, let me move forward a little bit. Is that it doesn't matter if we do end up in an island out here or end up in an island over here. No matter where we go, it's impossible for the sun to go behind you. If we, what we did is we took, we took the south and we pushed it out to the perimeter. That's what the flat earth does, right? So if you push the south out to the perimeter, then somebody on the perimeter cannot have the sun going around their head. They can't. They just can't. So, and then people get so mad at me for saying, Jeremy, you can't say that. You can't say that you would. No, I can clearly say if that happens, if I go down to Antarctica myself and the sun goes behind my head for three days in a circle, you don't think that I would come back and be like, guys, the globe has way more, way better evidence than the flat earth. Because something we've thought the whole time is wrong. And it's so wrong that it's fatal. It's fatal. And I've looked at this and I thought about it. And I said, wait a second. What other layout can we possibly have that would work? Well, real quickly, you should come to the conclusion. Oh, shit. If you push the south to the outside and we know the sun does this, then it's impossible for the sun to do this. It, unless you want to believe in two suns. But then might as well believe in ten suns. Because then what you have to say is that the sun is going like this for this person while going like this for everybody else. So then there's two suns. There's this one and there's this one. Do you believe in two suns? I don't. Don't see any reason to believe in that. So I'm going to look at the chat now and I'm just going to see, do people get it yet? Could, place a one for me if the, I'm going to put a poll. Let's put a poll. Let's put a poll. Um, I want to see if it matters. Does a flat earth start a poll? This would be really telling. And what kind of truthers watch my show? Does a circling sun in December in the South matter? Answer away, my friends. Answer away. Oops. Uh, start poll. Let's see. I'm anxious to see how this goes. Answer now. Don't wait because I want to get a, a good idea of what we're looking at here. I will announce the poll as we as I need to. Let's see. Let's get the uh, uh, let's get a, a good sound bite in there for this, uh, shall we? How about this one? There we go. All right. Let's see. And they're off. Let's see, we've got, okay, well, this is actually much better than I expected. Let me see. So right now we're at 93%, 7%. Okay, so I, I feel so much better. Wow. I feel so much better right now. I was starting to get a little bit nervous. The people didn't see it. So, so far we got 93%, 7% with 91 votes. That's pretty good. Thank you. Well, Eldon Bean says he knew all that. Well, I, yeah, we've all known that back in the day. This is why I was shocked. You guys will come away seeing 24 hours of sunlight. That's totally different. Totally different. We're talking about the physical, actual sun. Don't get me wrong. There's possibilities, right? Somebody said, what if it's a reflection? That's why we're going down there. Trust me, if we've got somebody who's zoomed in on the sun, looking at sunspots through an infrared or through a solar filter, you're going to see that footage. So if when it's in the north, we see a certain layout of sunspots, and then in the south, it's the reverse image. 
then it's a mirrored image. And we come back, we say, here's the footage, and you guys say, it's mirrored. And we all say, great, now we know that the sun, southern sun is mirrored. That's why we want people to go down there. That's why this shouldn't be demonized. I get it. Does Duffy have some questionable activity? Does he have a weird smile on his face? Has he been a little bit wishy-washy? Sure. But we've talked about it, and there's no reason that we can see of worrying about it. It's just not a worry. He's not going to kill us. Well, he could have if he, we didn't ask him to go with us. Austin and I have talked. But there's no way that if the bus breaks down or something, like, you got to get on this bus, you two, just you and Austin go on this plane. Yeah, right. We're signing papers that say no. We're all traveling together. We're all going down there together. We're all going to film together. And the other thing is, I'm, I can't even believe I'm going to say this. I'm happy Dave McKeegan is going. <laughs> Out of any Glober, as much as I hate Dave McKeegan and don't want to have a conversation with her or anybody, that who has better camera knowledge than Dave McKeegan? He's a camera guy. So if there's anybody out of any Globers, do I want Simon Dan to go? Hell no. FTFE? Hell no. McToon? Hell no. Whatever other dorks there is? No. Now, I'd like none of them to go, but I understand why you have to have one. And McKeegan is the one that I think is the best choice. So the way I look at him, I'm looking at it like, okay, let us go down there and observe it. Austin is somebody who stood up and also said, I'm not afraid of the truth. We're not afraid of the truth. The thing that I started getting was I told, I said to everybody, I don't think there's a 24 hour sun, but if there is, and I was like, oh, Jaron's going to come back. Now everybody's saying, oh, you already decided it. he's going to be a glober now. Then you don't believe in anything you've been thinking you believe in the whole time. I do. I believe it. That's why I've been here for nine years. So I want to go down and see it. And if I'm wrong, if I go down there and the sun circles my head, I've got a lot of explaining to do. I've got a lot of questions. Like, what do they do? Then I feel like it's a psyop. Why have they been cutting out the 24-hour the footage of the sun in the south? It's like they did it on purpose. Why is there no undersea cables? Makes no sense. Why did Stephen Hawking fake his curvature test? Why did Nat Geo fake their curvature test? I mean, I will have endless questions. Endless. Now, tell me another thing. Jaron, do you know what atmospheric refraction is and where it happens? Yes, everywhere. And how would that move the sun 15,000 miles? Probably not going to happen. Don't share a tent with Mickey. I won't do that. I won't do that. Uh, Jaron, do you know where... Oh, I'm going to keep reading here to see if there's anybody. Uh, you down to go, Rue? I didn't attack you. Who, me? I want Rue Hiff to go with you guys. Nah, pass. Ignorance is bliss. So we got... Oh, now it's down to 85.15. So I don't know. I would love to hear somebody who's the 15% tell me why. Because here's the thing. At least with my beliefs, I can tell you why I believe what I believe. My question is, can the one of the people who said no, can they explain it? Can they explain what they mean by calling themselves a truther? But then if something is impossible in our model, fatal, they're still going to say they still believe it. Now, I get when you say, oh, but we haven't measured curve. And there's, well, I get that. I do get it. But on the other hand, there's explanations for both sides on many topics, right? Like, for instance, the sunset. The globe has its explanation. The flat earth has it. So you can't really make a determination based on one of those. They both have good explanations. Well, what about gravity, Jaron? Well, the globe has their opinion. We have ours. They both are decent explanations. You can believe in either one. So there's everything is like that, right? The seasons. Well, the globe has their seasons. They don't seem to work well. The flat earth has its explanation. I think it works better. Great. But the globe still has an explanation. When it comes to the 24-hour sun in the south, can you get it through your heads? That there is no explanation for the flat earth. It's a fatal flaw. Fatal flaw. If we see a 24-hour sun. Now, you might be saying, but Jaron, then that, that means that they'll definitely fake it. Then make them. You will get all the footage. You will be able to look at it and say, this is where they faked it. This is what they did. The clouds were, you know, whatever you want to say. But just to keep saying it doesn't matter is, is like... Struggle fest for me. I, I feel like people don't understand what we've been saying the whole time. Uh, you should be able to see that in Tasmania. See what? Uh, just made one up chairs, biscuits, making the same mistake as the Globers and making a model to believe in. Again, here we go. Then, then don't, if you don't believe in a model, then why are you saying you believe in the earth being flat? But what do you mean? Making the same mistake as the Globers and making a model to believe in. It's not a model. It's where we live. I don't understand what the deal is with the model. What do you mean? They say we live on a globe. If you say we live on a flat earth, you don't think you have to provide anything about it. You just say it's a flat earth. And then a glober is going to tell you, hey, 
What about when the sun is seen 24 hours a day going around somebody's head in the south and you're going to be like, I don't care. And they'd be like, well, explain it. I can't. Okay, but you're still going to believe that? Yes. That, that's fine. If you want to be that guy, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to believe things that are literally impossible. That's all. Since I live in the Arctic, to me, it matters the sun and tarks in the south. Thank you. Uh, let people call in and explain. I will do that. If anybody thinks they will call in, let me put that in. Read Super Chats. Give Duffy a polygraph. We will pay. Sure, but what is the polygraph about? What do you mean? What are you going to ask him? About the trip? I'm sure he would do that. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Super Chats. Oops, sorry. That's not where I want to go. Fan funding. Uh, let's see here. What do we got here? Uh, what? Auto-generated experiment. What is this chat summary button? Never seen that before. Okay. Why would it move? Oh, there we go. Yay for 100. Thank you very much, Lisa. We already said that. Justin Johnson, thank you very much for another five memberships. Great supporter of the show. We've got uh, Upside Down Guy saying, I'm glad they're saying the shooter was Antifa and not a flat earther. Thank goodness. <laughs> Upside Down Guy for five bucks says, uh, you can guarantee the service had surveillance drones flying around too. You would think so. Hello. Uh, we've got Free Thinking, Free Thinking Man or something. Five dollars says, we can also say we're in a competency crisis. <laughs> People who are not qualified for certain government jobs are hired to fill quotas. Malice is incompetence. Yeah, I agree. Or malice versus incompetence. Sorry. Yeah, it could just be incompetence. I mean, that could be true. Uh, we got him again. He says, but I don't, I didn't vote Trump and calling cap on 2012 CT event. <laughs> yes. Uh, we've got catfish and whitetails. Seriously, Jaron, how about offering Duffy a polygraph and ask hard questions? Discern his reply. I'll definitely help pay for it and many others too. So I guess to me, I haven't seen anything that warrants that, but I understand where somebody might think they need to. I understand that. If you've listened, do you know he's done interviews with Chris Crum, Nachi Ketha, uh, trying to think of what other flat earthers he's done. Ronnie and Jason gave him like 200 questions. Um, if you go watch those interviews, he doesn't say anything that warrants the kind of response he's gotten. Now, has he said some questionable things about who, when he knew McToon from? Yeah. But he's also distanced himself from McToon. Now, that could be just optics, right? I mean, I would do that too. Like, okay, uh, uh, clearly these flat earthers are not f fans of, of McToon at all, so I'm going to distance myself from him. That would be a smart move as well. But I've also heard him say, I don't know if you guys heard this, he was doing an interview with some guy who has like no subs. And, uh, the guy asked him, he says, so I don't understand why you're taking Jaron and Austin. Don't you know they're both liars or something like that? And Duffy said, I've actually never seen either one of them lie. Okay, now just think about this. Toon says that Austin and I lie all the time. Or Toon says Austin lies all the time. He does a video about it once a week. Oh, Austin, you liar, you piece of shit, you liar, you garbage human, blah, blah, blah. So it's really weird to have Duffy then say on another channel, I've never seen Austin lie. Okay. And that's just him being serious. That's being him being honest. So I see things like that. I'm like, okay, now could he be doing that for optics? Possibly. Possibly. But again, I don't really see what the problem is here. Let's say Duffy knows for a fact that there's a 24 hour sun. Well, he's trying to take us down there to see it so that we expose that there is a 24 hour sun and our thing is flawed. Let's say he's really a flat earther and knows that there's not a 24 hour sun. He wants to go down there and film it and become famous for filming that there is no 24 hour sun. I don't know what his ultimate motive is. But it doesn't matter. The guy is paying the money for us. So, and I don't, again, I have to keep saying this because I'm afraid people are going to hear me and be like, oh, Jaron, you just want a trip. I don't want to go to Antarctica. It's fucking freezing cold. I'm a Californian, born and raised. I don't like the cold. But I'm willing to do it because I think it's important to get to the truth of this matter. And I also think it's important to force them to, to have to fake it if they have to fake it. Now, if it ends up not being me, great, but I'm going to have the same requirements of that person that I would have of myself, which is you better bring back all the fucking footage you can. Do not go there and play with penguins. Do not go there to go skiing. Do not go there to go hiking. Do not go there to jerk around. You're going there to look at the fucking sun for four days, film as much of it as you can, and come back. That's what I would ask whoever gets selected to go. As in, I would hope that would be required of me. That if I go, that people say, Jaren, Good luck down there. We're rooting for you. Please bring us as much footage as you possibly can. Take your infrared camera, take your solar filters, get your GoPros, get your other cameras, buy some new cameras, buy lots of batteries, buy you know heating packs, buy coolers, whatever it is. That's what I would expect. But 
It doesn't have to be me. I just don't want people to think, oh, Jaron, you just want to go because you want a free trip. No, I want anybody to go because the trip is ridiculous. It's going to be about $45,000 all in total for a trip that is literally flying from, well, it's $31,500 to fly from Punta Arenas to Antarctica, four and a half hour flight. That's it. You get out, you sleep in a damn tent and you fly back after four days to Punta Arenas, $31,500. Now I have my opinion of why it's so expensive because I think it keeps people like little conspiracy theorists away from there. No little conspiracy theorist theory has enough money to go down to Antarctica. So the people that go down there are the rich and the elite and they've got lots of money and they don't really care about a 24 hour sun. They think the earth's a globe. They don't even care. They're like, let's go down here. And then they go in their tent at night because it's shut down hours or what do they call it? Night quiet hours. And it's light outside. So they think the sun's out and they go to sleep because they've got to ski the next day or they've got to go do pole vaulting or whatever they do. I don't know. Go sit with the penguins. But for us, let me just go back to where we were. If Duffy wants to spend that money and he's willing to put that money forward for those of us or for those who end up going, I think we're idiots not to take advantage of it. It doesn't matter if he's got $10 million in fines pending for his financial transactions. Doesn't matter. We made it very clear. Duffy, I will not spend a penny of my own money and I will not crowdfund. Why won't you crowdfund, Jaron? Because I think that the trip will be canceled or that they'll cloud the sky. And I don't want to take money from you guys. I don't want to be like, everybody donate a hundred bucks so I can go to Antarctica. Everybody donates a hundred bucks. I go down there, it's cloudy for four days and I come back like, mm, thanks guys for the money, but we did nothing and got nowhere. Does that sound like something I want to do? No. But if it's Duffy's money, then you know what? It's his idea, his experiment. He chose us. He paid for us. If he goes to jail the day before, guess what? I'm not out a penny. I may be out the time I went and bought winter clothes with his money. That's about it. So what do I care? Go to jail. Okay, well, I guess the trip didn't happen because Duffy went to jail. It doesn't, it's not, a, it's not, the, it, it's not a terrible thing. For Duffy, it is, but not for me. So that's where I'm just confused as to why everyone's so worried about, every, you know, oh, they're going to do this and it's just another uh, behind the curve. Well, I mean, we're going down there to get footage. Somebody else said, what if they erase your footage? If you film it, then that's great evidence. <laughs> if Austin and I come back and go like, those guys stole our footage and erased it. Don't you think that's a pretty big deal? Don't you think that should tell you something? So that's what I'm saying. Let's force these things to happen. Let's not sit back and be scared little pussy truthers. They're going to fake it. Oh, they're going to hurt you. Oh, it's going to be, they're going to uh, alive you. Don't be like Banjo, the retard. Banjo, Brazil, retardation, fucking crazy home person who actually said that this is how easy it is for them to fake it. They're just going to put a fake sun on a snowblower and drive it around the horizon. That's what he said. And his audience is like, yeah, he's just trying to point out ways that they can fake it. Oh, they're going to put a fake sun on a snowblower and drive it around the horizon. And you think that'll look like the sun? What's wrong with you? Do not be, do not go full banjo, which means do not go full retard ever. The guy is completely out or he says, Austin's going to kill me because he wants a book deal. I mean, that guy's just out of his mind. I don't understand why we have to take steps like that. Why not just say what we've always said? There is no 24-hour sun in Antarctica. So we will go down there and observe it. But everyone's so afraid. I can't imagine being so afraid of life, afraid of everybody, afraid of everything. They're going to put a sun, Jaron, on a snowblower. That doesn't make any sense. Now, what was I afraid of? I said, I don't want to go alone because if I did go alone and those guys wanted to just get rid of me, they could and then say, oh, Jaron had a heart attack. Who is going to go down there and investigate that? Nobody. You guys would just all believe it. Oh, Jaron had a heart attack down there. Sorry. Well, I don't want to be put in that situation. By adding a second person, all of a sudden, everything becomes much more difficult. They're not going to believe, oh, Jaron and Austin both had a heart attack. That's probably the reason somebody's going to send somebody down there and investigate. That seems weird. Plus, they have to kill one of us in front of the other one or somehow do it. You know, It just makes it multiple times more impossible. So that's why I said I would rather go with somebody. So that's basically it. Anyway, it's Duffy's money. He's putting it forward. Doesn't matter if it's me. I don't, I'm not trying to act like, oh, I need it to be me. I don't want it to be me. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying I'm the, I would do it because I've been saying this for nine years and I think it's important to either show that I've been right or show that we've been wrong. That's important to me. Can't tell you which one it is. I believe that there is no 24 hour sun. There's too much evidence that there isn't. And it would call into question many things. Now, I do like the idea of a polygraph test. I don't know what those cost, 
but I'm sure that he would take one. So we could look into that. Let me bring this up real quick. I want you guys to see this. Um, well, what's going on back there? Oh, <laughs> so I don't know if anybody has any questions about this map again. I don't think you should. I think it finally got through to people. I don't know why I got a shit emoji and a thumbs down by just saying, oh yeah, I, want, I know what I want to show you. By just showing this. Now, if you want to see what's going on with your dear beloved uh, Eric Dubé, okay? Eric Dubé is a blatant liar. Liar. And I'll show you and prove it very easily. Now, will anybody go ever say anything to Eric? No, you guys are just pussies. You love him too much. You're like, no, we'll never say anything to Eric. He can get away with anything. We'll just call you a show all day, Jaron. We'll never even mention the fact that he's lying to us. We don't care about that. Jaron, you're not lying to us, but you must be a shill. Eric Dubé, he, does, he lies to us, but he's cool. That's what I guess comes out of this group. 